Here's something I always wondered about. You take a filled water bottle and you hold it from its side, it feels so much heavier compared to when you hold it from somewhere over here. The same effect happens when you're taking a cricket bat, right? You hold it from the handle, it feels much heavier. Why is that happening? To some extent, I think we already have some idea of what's going on. When you're holding it from its edge, you are holding it farther away from the center of mass. And it's at the center of mass where all the weight is concentrated, right? So now when you're holding it far away from the center of mass, the top, ah, the torque due to the gravity is much larger. And over here, the torque due to the gravity is much smaller. It's very similar to when you're pushing a door far away from the axis, you produce a much larger torque compared to when you push the door close to the axis, smaller torque. So when I'm holding the water bottle this way, there is more torque due to gravity and that's why it weighs more. I kind of get it, but my problem was, hey, it's the same bottle, whether I hold it here or I hold it this way, it has the same weight. So yeah, torque and all makes sense, but a part of my brain is like still not convinced as to what's really happening. So that means I need to really understand what's happening to the forces. I need to investigate the forces acting on the hand. So let's do that. And I think the most important insight comes when we ask this question. In what direction are you pushing the bottle over here? Are you pushing it up? Or are you pushing it down? Can you just think about this for a moment? Which direction are you pushing this water bottle? Well, my first thoughts were obviously, it's obvious that since the gravitational force is downward to balance it, I'll have to push it upwards, right? That's, that's obvious, but think about this. If you push it up here and here is a downward force, that torque is still acting. The water bottle wouldn't be balanced, it would just fall down due to the torque. Think about it this way. Can you balance a water bottle just holding it this way? I mean, if, if all you're doing is pushing it up, then you should be able to balance it by holding it like this. But you know, in your bones, you can't hold it this way. You have to hold it like this. Why? Ah, you are not only pushing it up to balance the weight, but to counter the torque, you are also pushing it down. This point acts like the fulcrum, okay? And gravity is putting a torque about this point in this direction. There is a torque this way. Now when you push it up, it's acting at the fulcrum and so therefore it's not countering that torque. To counter this torque, I need to somehow, somehow produce a torque in this direction. And you know how you do that? You do that using these fingers and you push it down somewhere over here. You push down over here. This force tends to rotate the bottle in the other direction and the torque produced due to this force counters the torque produced due to gravity. And again, you can actually feel it. You can, when you hold it, you can actually feel this side, these fingers are actually pushing down, countering the torque due to the gravity. If you just like hold something really heavy, just take a water bottle, hold it, you'll feel it. You'll actually feel it. And the same thing is happening here as well. So now can you tell why this feels heavier than this one? Okay, let's see. Well, the key thing is that here, there's more torque due to gravity compared to over here. This means to counter that torque, I have to put more downward force here compared to over here. Can you understand why? Let's think about it. How do you calculate torque? Torque is force multiplied by the perpendicular distance. So the counter torque would also be force multiplied by the perpendicular distance. Now, this distance is smaller way smaller than this one. So let's take some numbers. If this number is thrice as big, this distance is thrice as big as this one, then the downward force I have to apply would be thrice as much as this one. So I would have to apply three mg downward force over here. Only then the torque will be equalized. The torque is three mg times one, three mg. The torque here is three mg times, uh, mg times three, three mg, okay? But over here, notice, this distance, which is going to be the same as this one because it's the same hand and everything, but if you compare it over here, it's almost the same ratio. Maybe it's one is to one or maybe it's even smaller. Therefore, the, to the to equalize the torque, the force I have to put here is just mg. mg times one equals mg times one. Okay, but how does that explain anything? The last piece now is to calculate the upward force. The upward force not only balances the mg, but also balances the downward force you're putting the counter to torque. 
to counter the torque. So the up total upward force you have to put over here would be mg plus 3mg. So it's going to be mg plus 3mg, which is going to be 4mg. And the upward force here is going to be, to balance these two, is mg plus mg, which is going to be just 2mg. So you can see over here you have to push up the bottle with only twice the weight of the bottle. But over here you have to push it up with four times the weight of the bottle. This means from Newton's third law, over here the bottle is pushing on your thumb downwards with four times the weight. And over here the bottle is pushing down your thumb with just twice the weight. Therefore, right in front of your eyes, can you now see why this appears heavier than this? The summary is when you hold things farther away from the center of mass, because the torque due to gravity increases, the force that you need to apply, the downward force you need to apply to counter that torque also increases. And therefore, in order to balance that force, the upward push that you have to put on the bottle also increases. And therefore, the bottle ends up pushing you more and makes it feel heavier. Isn't it amazing that everyday things that we take for granted has so much physical insights to it? For me, as a child, this answered the question of why I used to feel my cricket bat very heavy whenever I used to raise it after a century. In this video, we'll use this concept of talk to see whether you can actually bend a bullet as shown in the movie Wanted.